What's up guys, that is here and welcome back to another video. This time we're gonna talk about something different, uh, speak about another content, another type of content about about the gameplay reveal trailer of Mortal Kombat 11. So first we're gonna begin uh, speaking about the, the first impressions. The graphics are looking so good, like it looks kind of like Mortal Kombat X but improved. The graphics are actually pretty damn nice. And speaking about the gameplay, it's actually slightly different with some uh, adjustments on the system mechanics. The meter for EX moves, the uh, meter you got on Mortal Kombat X, you can fill out your meter and to get your X-Ray combo. This time uh, it is not called X-Ray, but it's just called Fatal Blow. When your health is low, you will read Fatal Blow, uh, so you, you gotta press left trigger and right trigger to activate the fatal blow and you can mix it up in your combos it looks actually similar to the x-ray but you won't see the bones crushing like in the x-ray moves but uh, I feel like it's kinda more brutal this time I don't know I feel this game more gory than any other Mortal Kombat like it's crazy man like the amount of blood and the fatalities is actually looking even more gory we can see here uh, some fatalities, Baraka's fatality, Sonya's fatality, and other fatalities as well. The graphics makes that job even better because it looks way better, uh, gameplay looks pretty solid. And speaking about the EX meters, you got uh, defensive meters and offensive meters. Offensive meters, uh, yeah, you got two defensive meters and two offensive meters. So you can use offensive attacks so you can spend your meters on those attacks kind of like the EX moves and EX meter for defensive moves as well uh, for example you can see here Scorpion waking up like a back with a back roll so you have to expand one bar to escape the pressure and to escape from the knockdown we are seeing seven characters in this reveal we are seeing here Baraka as a returning character we are seeing Sonja Blade, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Scarlet, and a new character called Garrus. And as MKX, you will have three different variations uh, of fighting style to choose uh, for every character. And additional, you will have a customizable character variation, so you can customize your own style. Which is pretty sick in my opinion. I don't know if that's gonna be available in tournaments or ranked matches when playing online. I don't know if this customizable variation will be too overpowered. It seems like you will have more options to customize your character. Kind of like Injustice. You will be able to customize your gear, just cosmetics, abilities. And like for example, a gear you can customize. Uh, the skin from your katana, from your spear, uh, the mask, clothes. Uh, you can actually customize a lot of things and your abilities as well. You can see actually a lot of scorpion masks here. Pado's fire, Hanzo's face, of Hanzo's face of heated anger. You can actually use Hanzo's face. A red claw scorpion, furious demon, Nether Realm rage. Which is actually pretty sick, like, this was not possible in NKX, uh, so they actually introduced this addition into this game, kind of like Injustice 2. Feel unique with your character, because you can customize your character however you want, you know. You can see here all the differences, all the different spears, and here they are showing us uh, some different variations of Scorpion some different variation you can create with this customization. And here we are seeing also Baraka's variations as well. Looking pretty damn good actually. They also showed a pre-lock of the story mode, which is actually Raiden and Shinnok. 
They showed the Sonya Blade trailer with all of her moves. They said every returning character will have their signature moves and also they will have additional new moves. So like it seems pretty interesting. Like look at Sonya Blade looking pretty damn good in this game. Her fatal blow is actually looking pretty damn gory as well and her fatality. And they show us the collector edition which includes a scorpion mask statue which is looking pretty dope by the way and if you pre-order any version of the game you will get access to the veda you will get shao khan as a playable character and the access to the veda will begin in march 28th the release of the game will be on april 23rd and at last they are showing us Geras, a new character a completely new character in the game that looks like a heavy hidden character uh, it, it seems like he uses sand to create statues and stuff and a lot of objects. So yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this video guys. They show us a lot of interesting stuff. You guys like to watch more Combat 11 in my channel. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and we'll be ready on April 23rd. So yeah guys, that's all for today. I'm Dead Ace, don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one.